Now, from the station on your side, you're watching Wavy News 10 on Fox 43. More turmoil in Richmond this morning. The overnight allegations against Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax, the next person in line for Virginia's governor's mansion. Once that picture with the blackface and the Klansman came out, there is no way you can continue to be the governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Plus, the calls for resignation continue against Governor Ralph Northam following the release of a racist photo in his EVMS yearbook. Our Kiana Patterson is monitoring the overnight developments and what it means for Virginia's future. And another government shutdown looms in Washington, D.C. Why lawmakers are growing increasingly pessimistic about reaching a budget deal. We're following overnight news from Richmond. That's where Virginia's Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax is fighting back against an allegation of sexual assault. Big League Politics posted a story about a Stanford fellow who hinted that Fairfax sexually assaulted her. The conservative-leaning site shared a private post from Vanessa Tyson's social media page. In the post, Tyson says an office holder who's about to get a very big promotion sexually assaulted her at the 2004 Democratic National Convention. Fairfax was a John Kerry staffer in 2004 and is next in line for the governor's mansion in Virginia. Fairfax's camp released a statement saying in part, Lieutenant Governor Fairfax has an outstanding and well-earned reputation for treating people with dignity and respect. He has never assaulted anyone ever in any way, shape or form. Now, this allegation against Fairfax comes during a tumultuous time in Richmond. As we've reported, Governor Ralph Northam is fighting to stay in office after a racist photo on his 1984 EVMS yearbook page surfaced Friday. The Washington Post reports Northam hosted a cabinet meeting last night as he considers resignation. Ted on your side's Kiana Patterson picks up our coverage in the newsroom this morning. And Kiana, Saturday, Northam said publicly he did not appear in the photo in question. Yes, Katie and Lex, Northam said he took a closer look at that yearbook picture and he believes he is not in it. He also has no plans to resign. However, on Friday night, he says he was in that racist photo and apologized. The Washington Post reports Northam called a senior staff meeting last night and people in the meeting say it was emotional, but the, govern the govern governor excuse me, did not make any decisions. Now, many politicians on both parties have called for his resignation and Sunday, former Governor Terry McAuliffe spoke about the scandal. Ralph will do the right thing for the Commonwealth of Virginia. He will put Virginia first, and I think that will happen relatively soon. And the Washington Post says Northam is scheduled to have another staff meeting this morning. And turning your, your sides, Andy Fox will be in Richmond all day covering this story. Kiana Patterson, turn on your side. 735 happening today. A Virginia Beach man is due in court for a bond hearing this morning at 8 o'clock after authorities charged him in a bizarre chain of events. In the end, one man died and a car hit another person. 33-year-old Roel DeLuich was charged with hit and run while leaving the scene of a deadly house fire. Investigators say DeLuich was leaving his burning home on Rose Petal Drive last week when he hit a woman with his car. Authorities later found 32-year-old John Kilgore dead inside the home. Delua and Kilgore live together in the house. We'll have a crew in the courtroom and bring you updates on air and online. Newport News police are trying to figure out who shot a teenager. Officers got the call yesterday to a home on Dana Ray Court near 76th Street. When they got there, they found a 14-year-old boy with a gunshot wound. The teenager is expected to survive. Police say there's no suspect information right now. If you know anything that can help police, call the crime line. That is 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. 7.36 still to come on this Monday morning. Tragedy at the border. What we're learning about the death of a Customs and Border Patrol agent. And you're taking a live look outside from Tower Cam 10. Meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler shows us what kind of weather we can expect in the week ahead next in your Super Doppler 10 forecast.